suddenly there's an incident at the other end of the beach. Tom and Kerbox race to the shore after spotting someone lying face down in the water. But Quiggers isn't so sure. Oh no, he's just come up. Is it? No, he's kicking. He's snorkeling. Hey Kerbox, is that for real? Mate, I thought I saw him kicking. Quiggers races the resuscitation equipment down the beach. Any delay could make the difference between life and death. Tom has dragged the patient onto the rescue board, while Kerbox and a holidaying fireman swim out to help. They don't know how long she's been face down in the water, but she has no breath and no pulse. Tom begins resuscitation on the rescue board. Quiggers radios lifeguards at a neighbouring beach. The fireman helps by starting chest compressions. Quiggers sets up the defibrillator in case she needs to be shocked back to life. Her jaw is locked. Tom has trouble getting the ventilation tube in her mouth. There you go, there you go. Breathe, baby, breathe. They dry her chest, ready to shock her back to life. Hang on, right? Keep going. Okay, let's go. Simply, simply, simply. Let's go. Simply, simply. But suddenly, she begins breathing on her own. Get a pulse. Get a pulse. Very rapid, very rapid pulse. Sorry. Head to the bottom of the light, go to the as much as I can. Okay, that's good. Come on, come on. There you go, wake up, wake up. Solo, yeah, you're all right, you're okay. You're okay, you're at Bondi Beach. Wake up. All right, she's awake, she's awake. Come on, Fred, one, two, three, go. There it is, drop, that's it. You're okay, you're okay, right. Relax, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Do it. You're okay. That's it. Throw it up. Oh, look at it. It's all right. It's all right. You're okay. Do it. Thank God. No, mate. How do I see that? It wasn't good at all when I got to her. Yeah, she was blue, just, um, she was unconscious. She looked dead. My dad said looked up, and it looked like a piece of seaweed floating in the water, and I said to Tommy Bunting, I'm mate, is that someone floating face down? As I've, as I've pretty much tried to spit it out, he's focused and gone, mate, let's go. And mate, my heart jumped through my neck. And a million thoughts go through your head, and Tom went, Tom went charging out on the board, and, you know, he did really good, you know, and he was screaming to me, not again, not again. I'm saying, mate, it's going to be all right. Come on, boys. <laughs> Poor Tom, he just, you know, I, I think pretty much what he did saved her. I've seen a couple of deceased bodies now, and that's exactly what her face looked like. And then, you know, to see her open her eyes five minutes later, um, it's just overwhelming, you know. The memories of Yondon Dungu's death are still raw.